you want a show with singers? Do you want a show with celebrity judges? Do you want a show with Louis Limericks? day on the X Factor Tour and the crowds have gathered en masse to catch a glimpse of our Australian princess. She's had 11 number one club hit singles, five studio albums, she loves green tea, her favourite TV character is Spongebob Squarepants. Once, when she was in a recording studio in Bristol, which is near Bath in the West Country, she got bitten by a spider on the foot, and it really hurt. Luckily, she quickly recovered. And now, I'm in her car. Wow, that was slightly terrifying. You know, the weirdest thing is that you never get used to that. No, I don't imagine I, you do. Simon probably does, but for the rest of us mere mortals, it's, it is exciting and frightening Yeah. at the same time. Yeah. This year just feels mammoth. Really? Mm. Is this going to be our biggest year yet, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. The judges seem to be sitting on different seats. Like, you all seem to mix around. Like, yesterday, Simon and Louis were standing next to each other, and why anybody put those together, I don't know. And what are you going to sing? What are you going to sing for us today, guys? <coughs> <laughs> you are strange. You really are. When I see these two guys just laughing their head off, and you don't know what they're laughing at. <laughs> Louis and I play a game where we um, try and guess who the contestant looks like. Hello. 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 Yeah, more boys and more groups. More groups, OK. Well, Danny, your luck may be in. As sometimes in music, when two people meet, something special can really happen. And it's about to happen again. We're in double trouble. trouble. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Double. I definitely see trouble. You must be double trouble. Yeah, Hi. Yes. Hi. Hi. Right, you? Yeah. We're called Double Trouble because there's two of us, of course, and we never get into trouble, so it's, it's quite funny. How long have you guys been singing together? A few months now. We started at a karaoke party, and since then we haven't really looked back and just thought, let's go for X Factor. We could be quite successful. <laughs> when did you first realise you were destined for superstardom? When Bobby was a kid, he always dreamt of being a like, pop star, so Bobby's probably... I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We hope it's going to go really well and that the judges and the audience like us and everything. Your input? What do you think the judges are going to say? Even Simon will have a little dance with us, I think. Yeah. Well, give me a move. Show me a move. Go down. Go low. Oh, that is so. <laughs> Don't fall over. Oh, no. <laughs> We think it could be Double Trouble's big moment because, well, like you said, we've got the package really. Good luck. Don't call over on stage. I'll try that. And I'll catch up with you later, OK? Um, I can't think of words. Do you think any good words? Hi, guys. What's the name of the group? Uh, we're Double Trouble. Double trouble. What are your names? I'm Robbie Carl and I'm John. And who would you like to be more successful than in the next five or ten years? Probably the Proclaimers because that's what we're going to sing. And 
They've been very successful with their yeah. one hits. What, what song are you going to sing? 500 Miles. All right, good luck, boys. Uh, <laughs> well, I know I'm going to be When I go out, when I go out, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man you go along with you. When I get drunk, when I get drunk, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man you get drunk next to you. And when I hate her, when I hate her, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man you I would walk, I would walk 500 miles And I would walk 500 more Just to be the man who walks a thousand miles To go down at your door Did anything about that performance feel not Um The timing was a little bit out, right? but uh, it doesn't... A little bit. A little but bit. it doesn't help because... He lives in Ireland and I live in England. Right, so you're blaming him? No. It was my fault, though. I was probably the worst. <laughs> it wasn't part. your fault! Aww. All right, well, look. End of the act, end of the friendship. Danny, yes or no? No, I can't. No. Cheryl? No, guys. Sorry. Louis? Absolutely no. Okay, it's four no's, guys, but thank you. Okay, thank you. Double trouble. You guys all right? Yeah, okay. So what happens now to double trouble? Are you going to keep on going? Hopefully, yeah. Uh, no, see what comes up in the future. The dance went down well, though, didn't it? Yeah, the dance. People seem to like the dance. Yes. Should we do it one last time? Yeah. As a happy end of the day. And I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more just to be the man Keep on dancing, keep on getting low, and as in low, <laughs> and um, maybe one day we'll see you again. Yeah, definitely. All right, thanks, fellas. Factor, and it's now time to take a break because that's the cue for the ladies' loo. I'm busting. Still to come. Ten cats. What? <laughs> that's disgusting. I'm sure. Ah! Wanna... Finger licking chicken. <laughs> <laughs> the X Factor auditions are in full swing. And with thousands of people applying, all thinking they have what it takes to be the next big thing. The judges have become experts at asking the killer questions to get to know the person behind the voice. Interrogating. What's the dream? What artists are you influenced by? What's your inspiration? Investigating. Tell us in 30 seconds something exciting about you. Who would you like to swap places with? What have you got that makes you a superstar? Inquiring. What would you like to happen in the next 10 years? Who inspires you musically? What's your ultimate goal? And delving deeper than ever before. Do you have any pets? Say again. Do you have any pets? Pets! Do you have any pets at home? Pets. Pets, yeah? No, no, no. Do you have any pets? No pets. No. What? No pets. Just one, just find out do they have pets? What kind of people they are? <laughs> no pets. <laughs> okay. Louis, why do you keep talking about pets? I was just wondering if they liked animals, because I think it's a really good thing if you like animals. Do you have any pets at home? How many pets? Uh, yeah, I've got a dog called Strongbow. Do you have any pets? Yeah, I have ten cats. How what? Do you have any pets at home? Pets, pets yes. <laughs> Animals at home. <laughs> uh, shall, we just, shall we just carry on with the audition? <laughs> These girls have animals. Uh, Danny has a pet cat. Yeah, and Cheryl has a pet dog. Do you have a pet? No. Oh, there it is! Not so four legged. What? Not four legged. <laughs> so if you ask it again, if you ask someone again, I'm just I'll go, testing. he doesn't have a pet. I'm just testing. Stacey, do you have any pets? I've got a dog. What sort of dog is Bailey? Um, he's a Springer Spaniel. How old? Seven. Friendly? He's quite friendly, yeah. Okay. Slash with you. What okay, you what are you going to sing? 
It's getting weirder. It's weirder, getting weirder. worse. Yeah, well, if it's pets that you're looking for, Louis, then let's hope our next auditionee is an animal lover too. My name's Strand Tasker. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Leeds. I think I have a bubbly personality. Um... Hello, Joanne. Hey, How hi. are you? I'm good, I'm good. I hope to have a platinum selling album. Global superstar. I'd really like to go and do a tour. On my tour, I'd like to wear dresses, skirts, tops, and some shirts. I'd like to be remembered as Queen of Pops. What's your name and age? It's Joanne and I'm 23. What do you do? Do you have a job? Yeah, I work at BHS restaurant in White Rail Centre. What do you do there exactly? Um, I serve customers with like hot food and on the tills. What's the best thing on the menu? It's the gammon carberry. Oh, okay. Do you have any pets? I do, yeah. <laughs> what kind of pets do you have? Twelve. What, twelve pets? What kind of pets? We've got four rabbits, four guinea pigs and four gerbils. Do they all get on well? <laughs> the rabbits and guinea pigs get on okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the gerbils keep to one side. Yeah, they do, yeah. And do they know you're here? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, they do. Pets know. Do they? Yes, they do. What are you going to sing? I'm going to sing Take That Up All Night. Well, I don't know that one. Is that the new one? Yeah. It's not very good, is it? What else have you got? <laughs> well, it's not one of their best, is it? Okay. Sometimes I see your face Looking at me, all oh, your love and grace Smiling at me, all oh, the things we have Never understood At times it cuts me up Thinking about you, all oh, the tops we have Never understood Oh, maybe I don't need you to save me, I just want you to help me, cause you're keeping me up all night. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, Louis, yes or no? Joanne, I really like you, and I'm glad that you got all your pets to look after, because I don't think you're going to be singing, but you're really nice. Yes or no? No! <laughs> Cheryl? It's a no for today, sorry. Danny? It's a no, thanks. Yeah, it's a no today, Joe, but nice to meet you, sweetheart. That is a terrible song, isn't it? Danny asked me what the best thing was on the BHS restaurant menu, and yeah. I thought it was the gammon carvery. Gammon carvery is well presented. Uh, it comes with, like, egg and chips, so I can have it with um, new potatoes and veg. So, yeah, it's a really nice meal. to the gammon carvery for Joanne. And with a break in auditions, there was still one important thing that Louis had to ask me. Have you any pets? <laughs> yes, I have. Apart I've from your husband, <laughs> your agent, and your baby. I have a cat. OK. Is that a good thing? What's the name of it? Roxy. Roxy, OK. Like Roxy out of okay. Cabaret. OK. Oh, yeah. Yeah. OK, I get it. She's very showbiz. OK. Um, Thank you. Matron ready. Yeah. Three, two, one. So I'm gonna start. Okay. Give me two seconds. Oh my god, it's with the eyes. Are you ready? Yeah. That oh. is. Three, 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 three. That's disgusting. Yeah. Come on. Be it's fine, it's fine. Okay. So um, maybe you can just push down. There, because that's. I just need to. Oh, come on, keep pushing, keep it. Oh, oh, I think you will. Oh, oh, <laughs> really? You've got hands made of rubber. Oh, what's the problem with that? Oh my god! Uh, it's 
down to you guys to decide. If you think I was the freakiest, shout freak, freak, freak now. Freak, 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 freak. Okay, if you think Dermot's the biggest freak. Freak! Freak! of his freaky finger, the Dermatron takes a 2-1 lead. Watch out, Dermy, because next week I'm coming for you. My name's Nathan, a.k.a. DJ Finger Licking Chicken, Cluck Cluck. What? I'm 24 years old, and I'm from East London. Nice yeah. to meet you. Finger Licking Cluck Cluck Chicken, yeah. Finger Licking Cluck Cluck Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> My finger licking chicken act's got humour, a bit of rapping, but it's there to entertain all. And it's a funky beat, so just to get you live and hype. Cluck, cluck, finger licking. I've got a chicken hat, chicken puppets, cluck, cluck, chicken rhymes. I like to entertain people, that's what I do. As long as I can make other people happy, that makes me happy. I think I've got about 400 and something key rings. I've got 25 keys in there. You Please. don't know what all those keys do. 25 keys, I do know you what don't they do. Know. I do. You know, don't know. I do know. All right, all right, I'll test you. What does that actually do? If you look, it's the money box key, isn't it? Grown men don't have money boxes. Well, a grown man in credit crunch does have a money box. When I'm in the zone, I'm in the zone, innit? And when I start clocking, that's it, it's all over, innit? Finger licking all day long. <laughs> but that's, that's my chicken, innit? Oh, hi, Jake. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. <laughs> that's the cutest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Tell you about it, ladies love it, innit? Chicks, innit? You wanna... Just grab it with two hands, do what I have to do, do it to my the best of my ability, and that's all. Cluck, cluck. Finger licking. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Try not to lose your keys. I won't leave you. I'll go where I tried it to. And uh, cluck off. <laughs> <laughs> cluck, cluck. Finger licking. You know what I mean? Chicken. <laughs> cluck, cluck. <laughs> What's going on, Judge? How are you doing? Hey, what's your all name? Good. Cluck, cluck. Finger licking chicken. I go by the name of Nathan. That's your name? Cluck, cluck. Finger licking chicken? AKA Nathan. How long have you been doing this for? Been going for about a good five, six years. Right. Do the girls love it? Hey. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> the, the, chicks are, the chicks are clucking, you know what I mean? So I keep them clucking all day long, standing. <laughs> cluck, cluck. When you're not doing this, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm an electrician by trade. Right. <laughs> okay. Cluck, cluck. All right. Okay. Okay. Funky, funky. Yeah, come on, yeah, check it, finger licking, yeah, yeah. It's the funky, funky, funky chicken, hey, hey, yeah. I want to be clocking you, hey, hey, hey. It's the sounds of the funky, funky chicken, hey, hey, yeah. I want to see you clocking too. Don't get it twisted, it's not chicken time, it's chicken on the rhyme. If you want more chicken, then go for one night. Got a chicken on my head and it flows in my spine. I chew, bird flu, swine, swine. And I do the chicken wine I think I'm looking like KFC Did the chicken egg fat and now we're blowing TV Finger licking chicken remix Cluck down low Ladies and my see a cluck down low Ladies and my see a cluck down low Chicken breast, chicken fried, chicken leg one show Ladies and my see a cluck down low Ladies and my see a cluck down low oh, Let me see a cluck down low Chicken breast, chicken fried, chicken leg one show <laughs> Cluck, cluck I've right. oh, got it, you can't sing Okay, okay. At the, at, the, at the end of the day, I've come, I've done what I had to do, I've come this far, so... We're going to take a vote to see if you get through. Simon? Well, take a vote? No for me. Cheryl? No. Louis? Nathan, I don't think you're funny and I don't think you're funky. Well, no. well Louis, I don't rate you neither. Well, <laughs> so... Simon, I give it to you, you're honest, yeah? You, you're sincere and I love you, yeah? You, you're nice, but Louis, you have no judgment. Well, listen, Nate, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Simon, thank you very much for having me. Love, I love you, Louis, bye. Um, <laughs> love, take it easier, yeah? love you, yeah? Finger licking chicken, whole time. That told you. Love that. Huh? Oh, love <laughs> that. That would be you. <laughs> no, no, we wouldn't use that. Where's your keys? Oh, yeah, they are. 
You know what's not on there? What's up? No matter how long I look, I ain't gonna find the key that opens the door to boot camp. Ah, oh, don't worry. <laughs> Got it. No, I'll find it, I'll find it. You think right. the last you heard of me, but still, finger licking, cluck, cluck, yeah. Cluck uh, off. I'm entertained, innit? I'm gonna cluck <laughs> off now, innit? Cluck <laughs> off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... Judge Moment of the Week! Curtis, with big afro. Yes, I might oh my god, that's <laughs> <laughs> it's gold cheese. That was Judge Moment of the Week. Still to come. She is genuinely the curse of death. Ah! That's how it I know. I'm about to speed up a bit. Definitely put it. Any day the world Any day. Over the last three weeks. Here on The Extra Factor, we've shown you crowd shots of London. Manchester. Oh, and who could forget Birmingham? Now, it's time for something completely different. Yes, crowd shots of Cardiff. Happy times. Oh, How are you? Yeah. Good morning, Holly Vance. Good morning, Holly. Are you well? So, Cardiff's rocking. The judges are all here. It's time to start the auditions. Oh, no. Someone's missing. Have you seen, um, Mrs. C? Who's Mrs. C? Mrs. Cole? Mrs. Mrs. Cole, yeah. Oh, Mrs. Cole. Mrs. Cole. Mrs. Cole. No, is he not, not here yet? He's not here yet. It's ten past two. What time are you here? I'm here since twelve thirty. Is that what time he's supposed to be? Yeah. Look at look at all that makeup waiting, and look at that hair. See that hair dryer. The hair dryer waiting and to be used. Yeah. Poised. And everything ready, and he's not here. Why is he so late all the time? I think it's called making an entrance. <laughs> Hi everyone. Right. Well, in case you didn't notice, Simon's on. Yeah, we can see you. Anyway, finally the auditions can begin. And when it comes to ego, our first man can give Simon a run for his money. <laughs> this is it, Gary for love. Time to shine. Mr. Lover, 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 mm. Mr. Lover, Lover. Can I say you the best name in the world? It's somewhat unusual, isn't it? Gary. Full a love. Full Let me tell you something. Love. On Valentine's Day, it never lets me down. Mr. Lover, Lover. I'm 30, 11 years old. I'm not 41. I'll never be 41. I am 30, 11 years old. Smooth. I've been preparing for this for 10 years and I know vocally I am good enough to do this. I know that I'm as good as the Beatles, as Elvis, as the Jacksons. I am in no way deluded, just confident. I believe I'm certainly at this moment in time the best singer in here. But I'm not arrogant, I'm a very humble person. It's just that when it comes to performing, I know how good I am. Let's show them what we can do. I know I can do this, you know you can do this. I don't think I'm going to win. I know that I'm going to win. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Hi. Hello. Hello there, you alright? Very well, thank you. What's your name? It's Gary Full of Love. Gary Full of Love? genuine name, Full of Love. Full of Love. Oh, really? Yeah. It goes back all the way to 1306, from France originally. And are you full of love? Someone sat beside you could fill that void, but... Which way? Oh. <laughs> Trust me, never been confused, there's only one way to okay. go. Okay. <laughs> so where do you see yourself going? Do you want a factor? All the way to the end. Winning? One, oh yeah, there's only one place to, to go and that's the, the end and win it. And you believe you can do that? I don't believe, no, I know I can. 
All right, what are you going to sing? It's a song from Dirty Dancing. It's by Solomon Burke called Cry to Me. Okay, Gary, whenever you're ready. When your baby leaves you all alone And nobody calls you on the phone Don't you feel like crying? Don't you feel like crying? What do you have, honey? Come on, come on Cry to me Well, never have to walk alone You'll see Oh, no Thank you It just didn't look right You looked very uncomfortable singing It was almost like you was looking at a puppet singing or something Well, that could, that could be cured with time, I, you know Danny? Um... Yeah, it was a little bit screechy at the top end of it, a little bit. I have to, yeah, I, I can't disagree with you there, not being able to warm up, I have to admit, but I understand what you're saying, that's fair enough. All right, let's just vote. Danny, yes or no? I have to say no. Cheryl? No. Lulu? Yes. Go thank you, Lulu. say no, but thank you very much. Okay, thank you all very much. Thank you. Bye. I didn't disagree with what the lady said. My throat did flip and there was a screechy note in there. However, I believe I pulled it back towards the end of that and showed them that I could do it better than what I, you know, than I did at the start. But obviously the damage by then was done. So as Gary walks out the door, he's one of the lucky ones because meanwhile, in the pod, it's been a week and they still can't find the door. OK, thanks. Bye. How do you get out of this place? Hi. Well, where's the door? Oh, we'll be here with Do you know the way out? Help! I can't find the door. Can you tell me where the door is, please? Oh, right. You should really have a sign in here, by the way. Shane, congratulations! Back in 2005, Shane Ward sang his way to victory. But not since those days have we heard a voice like his. Until now. My name is Dawn Townsend. I'm from Caerphilly and I'm 46. Hello, Dawn. Hello, Holly. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Now, what are you singing today? That's my ball by Shane Ward. Oh, OK. So, when people hear you sing that song, what do they say? They say that I don't sound like Shane Ward. They close their eyes. They could what? imagine Shane Ward singing the song. Hey. So, yeah. And he won it. Yeah, I know. Which means you could win it too. <laughs> I do like Shane. I think he's a nice bit of odd stuff. <laughs> Well, listen, we've got a bit of Shane Ward now, so we thought we could have a listen and then we could listen to you and just put that theory to the test. Get ready to play Shane Ward or Shane Fraud. Can you guess who's singing? Is it X Factor winner Shane Ward or 46 year old Dawn from Philly? Shane couldn't be here today, but he's still be good, so here we go. You know my story. I'm Shane Ward or Shane Fraud? Shane Ward or Shane Fraud? It's time to find out. Brings back such good memories of when he won. Yeah. That's right, it's Shane Ward. Now, this one's a bit more tricky. I'm not here to say I'm sorry. I'm not here to lie to you. Don't let the camera moves mislead you. It's time to decide. Shane Ward or Shane Fraud? I'm not here to let you love go. I'm not giving up. Unlucky, you missed it. It was actually Dawn. I'm here to win your heart and soul. I tell you what, that is uncanny. Uncanny! Hello. 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 And uh, what's your name, darling? Dawn. And what's the dream, Dawn? 
My dream is to win the X Factor. And do you think you can? I hope so, yeah. All right, Dawn. Well, listen, I hope it goes well. What are you going to sing? Shane Ward, that's my goal. Great. Yeah, yeah, you know where I've come from, you know my story, you know I'm standing here tonight. Well, no, I've acted foolish, but I promise you no more, I finally found that something Worth reaching for I'm not here to say I'm sorry I'm not here to lie to you I'm here to say I'm ready And I finally thought it through uh, Louis? Don, it didn't really work for me At all Sorry I did like it. Cheryl? Yeah, Cheryl? It's hard to come out and sing to us for and everybody else, but it didn't really work out, Dom. Yeah, it also sounds like you've got flu or something. <laughs> I got a bit of a chest infection. Yeah, I can hear that. Danny, yes or no? No. Cheryl? No, sorry. Louis? No. Sorry, Dawn. Nice sorry. to meet you. Bye. <laughs> I don't think he got it, did he? No. They didn't hear the Shane Ward within? Not even. Mm-hmm. What do you reckon Shane would have said if he'd have heard you singing today? I think he would have said, go for it, good girl. Good on you, yeah. girl. I think so, too. Yeah. Well, look, lovely to meet you. Yes. And good luck. OK. Um, are you going to carry on singing? Yeah, I'm going to carry on singing, and hopefully I'll play back next year for the X Factor again and yeah. prove Simon wrong. And maybe next year you could come back as Leona or Alexandra yeah. <laughs> and just keep on going, trying yeah. every single X Factor winner that's <laughs> ever been. That's my girl. Well, the judges have clearly taken a break. I've got a cup of tea in my hands, which means it must be time for you to take a break too. I'll see you in three. <laughs> Still to come. Cardiff, I smell a lemon. Three is the man. Yeah, man. That's a lie. How is it a lie? Something's not quite right. You remind me of a rap and bald Simpson. You've been amazing. The X Factor auditions can sometimes attract the weird and unusual. And behind the scenes, mysterious forces appear to be at play. Don't let us think that I've got the kiss of death, because once again, everybody I keep saying is really good, or that I keep looking forward to you meeting and going through, hasn't got through. Right. Um, to the point where I actually picked my winner today. A winner? Yeah. Who? And he didn't even get... Who? This is the one I've got my eye on. Run away now. Oh, no, no, no. That seems to be known as that. She is genuinely the curse of death for people with this. Don't listen to him. It has to be no. That would have to be a no. Shame. Shame. no. Sorry, Daniel. Sorry. Okay, Derma, I'd call that coincidental. The deal is, Nick, if you ever meet Holly before you audition, you never get through. That's it's not true. Scientific, categoric fact. No. 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 Thanks for coming. Thank you. I forgot about him. It was a strange, weird audition. It's nice for me today. Yeah, sorry. Oh, and it's him. For me, sorry. And him. Sorry, sweetheart, but thanks for coming. Oh no, and her. You want to be brilliant? I would actually go as far to say I think of all the girl birds I've oh, seen so far. You're my Yes. Yes. It's a very, very, very small yes, but it is a yes nonetheless. They got four yeses in your face, Derma. See, there is no curse. Or is there? It's lucky, then, that none of this mumbo-jumbo matters to our next guy, because backing him is someone more powerful than me. My name is Daniel Ward, and I'm age 20. Music is my passion. It's my life, as well as God. God's my life first. Number one is God. Number two is music. Number three is my family. Number four is my friends. Number five is um, party ring biscuits. I do write my own lyrics and I also rap as well. 
and just a little bit below M M and M. If God had the iPod, I would be on it. God by my side, I hope to get four yeses. Come on, just say hello everyone and hello, hello across the four churches. Hello. What's your name? My name's Daniel. How old are you? I'm 20. 20? Yeah. And where you come from? I'm from Cardiff. I'm a Cardiff boy, actually. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And tell us a little bit something interesting about yourself. Um, I write my own songs. Really? I'm a singer and I'm a rapper. Oh, no. Um, so what are you going to do for us today? Um, my own song, a cappella. What's it called? Uh, it's called... It's called I Will Sing. It is actually a, a Christian worship song, if you guys don't mind. No, no fine. Good luck. Okay. I will sing of your love and justice, Lord. I will sing to you each day. I will sing of your love and justice, Lord. But for you, I'm singing today. So yes or no, so I'm right here, we're kicking out of the one original, my style so fast, you're like, what's the I'm drop it down any day, because you know, I like to walk the floor, because I'm a local pro, I like to say hello Carter, because you know, there's a place to be, and I'm a freestyler, that's just who I'd be, a Christian MC, so what are you going to do when I come for you, thank you. You know, um, <laughs> part of the, of the rap thing is that yeah. you can freestyle and you can make up raps. Um, yes, I can freestyle, yes. You can? Yeah. So can you do something now on the spot? Track. On the spot. A rap about track. Simon or Louis. Um, a scene on Louis. Let's go. Um, We're ready. Let's rumble. What can I say about my main man Louis? He's the man with the plan, and this is why I'm trying. Here applying for the X Factor, because you know I rep for the one and only Saber. But going back to the team, because you know I'm gonna keep it all my legs clean. But I said that already. But I'm gonna keep rocking you steady, and I make it up on the spot. And I know the guy behind you give me a thumbs down, but I don't care anyway. Rapping about Simpson? Yes. <laughs> yes. In a sweet way? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Good. good. It's good. Uh, okay, okay. It's Thank really you, anyway. Good. Okay, Danny, yes or no? Oh. Cheryl? For this, no. Louis? Daniel, we like you, but we don't like your rapping. No. Uh, no. Sorry, Daniel, it's four no's, but nice to meet you. Thank you guys for your time, anyway. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, everyone. Stepped up to the mark when Cheryl put you on the spot and asked for a rap about Louis. Um, it, it was quite funny because, um, because the first bit was about Louis and then I just made the rest of it up. But I noticed that there was this guy behind the, uh, behind the judges putting his thumbs down to me steady. And I make it up on the spot and I know the guy behind you give me your thumbs down but I don't care anyway. So, so I sort of, um, um, sort of put him in the freestyle as well because I don't think he liked. Good. You know what I'm going to ask you now, You're going to ask me the freestyle. Yeah, man! About myself and the best show on ITV2 and probably the world, Extra Factor. The Extra Factor. Mm, okay. I'll, okay, Daniel. I'll get rid of go. I'm pleased. Okay. Hardy, what can I say about you? I've seen you on TV time after time. I always say you look so damn fine, but I know you can never be mine. So here we are, on the extra factor, because I just auditioned for the X Factor, but I'm playing a different flavor to put in your ear, because you know, I kick it from my one and only sailor. So I'm about to speed it up a little bit now. On MIC, I'm kicking another one and only Jitter, when I really fast, you're like, what would you see? I say, go drop it down any day. Do Louis Limericks for you. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Cardiff, I smell a limerick. When I see you. Hello, I'm here for the limericks. Oh yeah, that'd be five pound, please. No, I'm Louis from Louis Limericks.
Hello, Cardiff. The contestants, they just keep on coming. Most of them look less than stunning. They sing us a song. It usually goes wrong. Judging can be so brain-numbing. Thank you, Cardiff. You've been amazing. Previously on ITV1, combined effort took to the stage. And you're a duet, yeah? We were engaged, but um, last week we broke up. We weren't really getting along that well. It was a lot of arguments. They blamed it on the dirty dishes. We're talking about not washing the dishes. I think she still loves you, you know. I still love her. Jack missed the good times. I just missed all the good times. But Kirsty had doubts. I do still love Jack, but... Uh... But. What is this but? We find out tonight on Extra Exposed. It started with this seemingly harmless interview. We're talking about what song we were listening to in the car. All sorts of stupid things. And that's when the suspicions first arose. Something is going, yeah, some, 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 something's not quite right. We need to chat, we need to know what's going on. I will get to the bottom of it, no, don't no, you worry. Well. Shortly after, my team launched an investigation and scrolled through minutes of unseen footage. What we found was startling. He asked where my best friends are. I did. Yes, you did. Becca is one of my best friends, and you asked her out. She's found text messages on his phone of him texting her best friend. So you know that big stage about how love messages or to her friends. Texting, no, inviting her to the cinema, arranging a little cinema. I know. It's not acceptable. That's a lie. How is it a lie? <laughs> How is it a lie? I didn't ask about the way you think. I read the messages. The message said, Do you want to go out? Well, yeah, I did. No, that's out of order. I know. Now I feel bad. I know. Well, she said in between now and then. Have you asked him about his version of the story, yes or no? No. Right, so don't jump to conclusions. Well, I'm listening to Holly. I've asked him. I didn't mean what I said to Becca. Yeah, I know I said it, but I didn't mean I didn't mean anything I, you know, did or said because I still, you know, I love Kirsty the bits. You know, that's what I'm paying for, and that's I wish I could take that back. So that is it. The audience are leaving. The judges have gone home. It's a very sad moment here on ITV2. Don't worry, because join us next week. We're going to do it all again! Yay! You've been amazing! Ooh, it kind of sounded slightly sexual. She goes, she goes! I love you. No! I know you! No. If you want to see exclusive footage of tonight's star Lucy Jones, plus loads more videos, news and backstage banter, head to itv.com slash xfactor.